Welcome back to our Ask Agronomist video series. I am Phil Long, Precision Agronomy Advisor with Latham High Tech Seeds. And this week we're going to continue our discussion on what it looks like to have a balanced soil fertility. And specifically we're going to touch on the topic of how much is too much nitrogen and is it possible to have too much nitrogen fertilizer out there? The answer is yes. Unfortunately, I'm, uh, spoiler alert, I'm not going to tell you exactly how much is too much. But nitrogen is so critically important when it comes to corn and corn fertilization because it literally drives everything in the plant from photosynthesis uh, to yield at the end of the season. The protein content is directly related to how much nitrogen we have out there. You know, and when you have a lack of nitrogen, you're going to see yellowing, stunting, and things like that because it directly drives and, and you know, causes increased photosynthesis and better growth. Uh, but there is still a balance there. So having too much can end up causing reduction in the plant taking up things like copper and, and potassium as well. And those two are really closely tied to stock strength. And stock strength is something that's going to show up at the end of the season if we're over fertilizing. Those two are also, uh, especially potassium and nitrogen, are very closely tied to water regulation and water uptake. Uh, so that's critical, especially in, in dry seasons like we had in 2021 in a lot of areas. The interesting thing is if you look back is that, that the, the right nitrogen rate will increase the amount of bushels uh, per inch of water that we have. But if you look back at 2021, it wasn't necessarily the highest nitrogen rates that did the best in terms of yield. So think about that as you, as you look forward to the, the next couple years. But those two, especially the copper and potassium, are highly tied to the plant's ability to, to uh, do well in terms of disease conditions and especially stock strength at the end of the season. And if you tie up that copper, it's, it's going to decrease the stock strength at the end of the season. So how can we avoid this? We know a lot of these things, but I'm just going to touch on a, a couple of them. And the first one specifically is understanding your soil's ability to provide its own nitrogen. So organic matter for every percent that you have, there's, there's approximately 1,000 pounds of uh, nitrogen in that 1% of organic matter. So if you have 5%, you have about 5,000 pounds, but really we only see about 20 to 30 pounds mineralized during the season that our corn can take up and utilize. And unfortunately, it's not early in the season because the soil's cool, the microbes aren't working and mineralizing that nitrogen into a form the plant can take up and use. So we got to make sure that we're fertilizing on the front end of the season. And really split applications is one of the best ways to, to help uh, not overdo it and not have too much really in a microclimate, I'll call it. We're putting too much nitrogen out there and that's how sometimes we can get in trouble in those little micro environments in the soil. So split applying and making sure you understand the form that you're putting out there. There's lots of different forms, you know, anhydrous ammonia we're going to put on early. It's more stable, slower to convert. We can also add things to it to make it slower to convert. Urea, can, we can add things to coat that and make it slower to convert as well. So some of those things, trying to get it to the, keep it in the right form for when the plant needs to use it. The other thing that you want to consider in all this is the microbes in the soil. And specifically looking at like manure as a, as a source of nitrogen, but understanding that those microbes play a huge role. Now there's lots of things on the market with, uh, you know, giving us the opportunity to produce nitrogen in the soil just by increasing our microbial populations and some of those things going on that we don't necessarily fully understand, but they do help us convert that nitrogen and understanding that power of them being in the soil. So that's based on you know, whether you're doing cover crops or different tillage, all kinds of different practices that come into play with what's going down in the, in the root zone of your, of your soil is really important. So really the, the final thought that I'm going to leave you with, the most important thing that you can possibly do to figure out if you haven't what nitrogen rate suits your farm the best is to plant or, or apply nitrogen in different rates on different soil types. So different fields or whatever it takes, different soil types, you know fields that have different soil types to see this, not only the nitrogen supplying power of those soils, but also to make sure that you really zero in that nitrogen rate so that you're not over applying and causing or inducing deficiencies on some of these to cause issues out there in the field. So with that, if you have any questions, we always welcome them. Please feel free to reach out to us at 1-800-GO-LATHAM or visit us on our website at lathamseeds.com. Thanks for watching this week's Ask the Agronomist.